Hey, it's Bonnie. Happy Thursday. I am back to Halloween. <laughs> I know, it's funny. As much as I want to go, it's July 20th. All of this Halloween stuff from Bath & Body Works is making me so happy. And all of it is just amazing. And there's a lot. Oh my gosh. I don't even have like, I think a quarter of what's going to be coming. So lots of Halloween stuff. So today, I really want to talk about the water globe. And I want to review this for you. So you can make a decision on whether or not you want to purchase this once Halloween goes live, either in-store or online. I don't even know if these are going to make it online. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about water globes from Bath & Body Works because they are becoming extremely collectible. I've noticed, it, you know, more even so in the past couple of years. Um, this one is actually on Macari. I saw it as high as $150. So they are being purchased quickly. So what I tell people with the Halloween stuff is if you really, really, really want something, buy it when you see it. Um, if you just want to kind of wait off until you get a 20% off coupon, just know you might have to uh, pick and choose. Usually, um, and this is in past years, I don't know what's going to happen this year. Um, but typically at my stores, I mean, pocket bag holders, you can usually get um, soap holders, that kind of stuff. But I don't know this year. Honestly, I just feel like there is such a buzz about Bath and Body Works Halloween. I'm not sure uh, what the stock is going to be like. So I want to talk about these water globes. I, in recent years, have really started um, to collect the water globes more and more. Um, I actually have them down here. Let me grab my pineapple. This is actually one of my favorite water globes, you guys. I love the pineapple. The pineapple is from the summer, um, and it's all gold inside. I don't know. This one is just absolutely, like, stunning to look at. Um, I do have a couple of Christmas ones. I have the Easter one. I got the pink flamingo one, so I'm kind of just collecting these. I really enjoy putting them out. Um, we really enjoyed the Christmas ones last year. I had those up in my living room. The snowman gave off such like a perfect, beautiful, like holiday essence. So, um, I have been buying, um, the water gloves. So last year, Bath and Body Works came out with this Halloween water glove. This one is really unique because it, it almost looks like a, where's the on switch? There it is. Um, it almost looks a little bit like a crystal ball. It had a very um, kind of luminescent quality to it inside. So once you turn this off, you can see like the powdery luminescence. This one is actually relatively short though. In comparison, I'm going to hold both of these up so you can see the difference in size. I'm holding these base to base. Look how much taller this year's is. So this one had the spider webs on it and it had the flying bats inside and um, the glitter with the um, the spiders on it. And it's funny because a lot of people were asking this year about the noise that these make. And actually, let me grab, let me grab, I should have been more prepared here. Let me grab my pink flamingo. I don't know if you can hear this. For some reason, the pink flamingo one and the Easter one made an odd sort of noise. And I think what it is, is it's the large like sequin pieces going through um, the, you know, the fan that blows, you know, the sequins around. I don't know. Um, I didn't get the noise last year from the bat one at all. The noise on the um, the pineapple one, there's no noise on that, but it's really fine glitter. But this one did not make a noise last year. Now, they changed up the um, switch a little bit. See how tiny that switch is on this one? They now have a better switch this year, which I like. They actually have one of the, um, like, a flat type of toggle switch which I like a lot better. So the um, 
yeah, this one's got the toggle switch, and um, it's kind of, I don't know if that's what I, I'd call it, it's not really a toggle switch, it's more of just, it's like smooth and flat, where this one, it just looks like a cheaper switch on the old one. So this one was actually $59 last year. Um, they did raise the price on the new one to 69 So, I mean, this is definitely like an investment piece for a lot of people. Um, you're either going to really want this one or you're going to go, nah, I'm not paying 70 bucks for a water globe for Halloween. Um, some people are going to want Halloween. Some people are going to want Christmas. It's all good. But Bath & Body Works doesn't get like a lot of these each store, I don't feel like. Um, they might make it online. They might not. Um, usually my store, what they do is like pineapples. Usually they kind of integrate them into the store decor rather than having them like all on one table and then you kind of just grab one <laughs> of the decor and um i want to say at any given time they maybe had like four of the pineapples out as displays it's not like you're gonna see like 20 of them setting out so if they're out Usually people start grabbing these up fairly quickly. Now this year's is kind of interesting. They went with a little bit more of a spookier um, design. That's actually the back. I really like um, the glitter. It's kind of like, um, it's got purple in there. Can you see that on the base, how pretty that is? And I like the top. It's got like a lace on top. And then when you put the candle up here, because they actually are candle holders, um, it looks really pretty. Um, it's got like a creepy, fun essence there. But just keep in mind that this thing is a lot taller. So like it won't fit on my bookcase back here. You're going to need to set this like on um, like a table um, or somewhere where you're going to be able to um, accommodate that height. So check this one out. The inside of this one is actually there's like these little gravestones, a couple of skulls. Um, like this creepy black tree, <laughs> and then it's got like a couple of ravens on the tree. Now look what happens when I turn this one on. You can see it turn on, and then what flies around are these um, little white ghost pieces. Now I'm not getting in this one any of the noise that I was getting in the... Um, the one that was Pink Flamingo and for some reason the Easter one. So this one is actually very quiet, which is kind of nice. Um, these do tend to go through batteries fairly quickly. Um, I'm going to back it up a little bit. They look really pretty sitting like on a table. Um, I, oh my gosh, you guys, wouldn't that be neat? So what I'm hoping this year is I have like in my dining room, I'm actually kind of rearranging my furniture a little bit, but I want to have like a flat area for some Halloween decorations. And I, I want to get that hand, you know, the hand that's out there that holds up uh, the candle. I don't know, that's like creepy in a really neat way. And I want to use this as um, the centerpiece. But like I said, when you turn it on from far away, this looks so pretty. And then you put vampire blood on top of here. Oh my gosh, it's a really, really um, neat Halloween decoration. So I actually really like this year's. I actually like everything that has been coming out of Bath & Body Works Halloween-wise this year. So I'm super thrilled with this. Um, but like I said, uh, these are a little bit on the pricier side, $69. And then it's also a matter of trying to get your hands on one. Um, you know, you could always ask your store if they have one in stock now. They may or may not give it to you. Um, but, you know, it doesn't hurt to ask when it's not busy. I always say, like, if you're going to ask for something, um, ask when it's not busy. <laughs> because then, you know, the associates aren't, like, running around. Um, I always say, you know, that's the best time if you're going to go, like, you know, early on, like, a Wednesday morning or something. Um, because I have a feeling once they actually start setting these out on the floor, Someone's going to just go in and, and buy these quickly. I don't even know if every store across the country gets these. I've had a couple of people say we've never seen a water globe in our store. So I don't know how they end up um, sending them to different stores. I'm hoping we get all of the really cool um, Halloween stuff at my store, but who knows? So I'm, I'm on the hunt. <laughs> so anyway, um, let me know what you guys think of this year's um, water globe, if you're going to pick this one up or not. But uh, I am I'm loving it this year. I'm going to turn it on one more time for you guys. <gasps> How awesome. It doesn't really resonate um, as much 
when I'm up close with my camera, it looks a lot prettier uh, when I hold it back here, doesn't it? I don't know. It's just it's just really pretty. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.